More than a year after President Obama declared it would close, men are still being held in Guantanamo Bay. Most have never even been charged. Fair trial or release is long overdue, but dozens have nowhere safe to go. While the USA is responsible for finding a solution, it refuses to allow these men onto US soil, and they remain trapped in limbo. They remain there for the sole reason uh, that they can't return to their countries of origin. All they need is a country to come forward and offer them a chance to start to rebuild their lives. Unable to return to Algeria, Lakhdar Boumediene is now reunited with his wife and daughters after the French government stepped in. The, the first good news when, uh, when my lawyer uh, spoke with me and he told me uh, the officially uh, French government said you will go to France. I was very, very happy. I, I feel I am human after seven years and six months. I, I think I, I am human, human now. In prison for seven years, now he's anxious to get on with a normal life, to get a job and take care of his family. I don't want to stay in home and I, I don't like to stay like like poor poor man. Uh, to, uh, always he open his door, uh, his hand. I, I don't like that. I, I, I will find a job because I have family. I, I will have my family. Lagdar says his ultimate goal is to carry out humanitarian work. But I have experienced more than 10 years with kids, with the, the poor people. I, 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 I wish find the, the job with them. They need a safe place to rebuild their lives. They can't return to the countries that they originally came from. Many of them haven't been in those countries for 15 to 20 years because they originally fled persecution. These men are haunted by fears they'll be tortured or illegally imprisoned if they are sent back. Two Tunisian, they left to Tunisia and they are in prison. Two other men, uh, they live to, to, to Libya. They are in prison and they know where, where are they now. Human rights, uh, Red, uh, Red Cross, they, 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 they don't know where is the, the two men in Libya, where. Amnesty International finally found the two Libyans, Abu Hamouda and Abdesalam Safrani, at Abu Salim prison. But there's still no news on their legal status. Many European and other governments have long criticised Guantanamo and called for the detention centre to be closed. We feel that those governments have a moral obligation now to step forwards and provide a safe haven for those detainees most at risk. There are 27 EU member states. If each country just took two prisoners, uh, we would be a lot closer to closing Guantanamo and ending this uh, symbol of global injustice. Please, please, three times, please, uh, Obama, close Guantanamo. Just this, my message, please, close Guantanamo.